Hello YouTube, this is the DVTA Show, for those of you who are trying to play the part 99. In the last episode, we collected bugs for Agatha. In this episode, we're going to give her her bugs. And we may have to get some more bugs in this episode if we don't have enough money. Let's just see how this goes. I might have to find 26 rupees whilst I was running around, thanks to some crows. Yay. Anyway, let's go visit Adam's favorite person. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind her so much. I've, I've got nothing against entomologists, but I, 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 I don't know what the hell's going on with this woman. She, she's, I, I don't know what the hell she is. It's like a, a, a stereotypical Japanese lollicon character. But with books. Yeah. And why does, she, why does she have to moan so much when you give her a bug? That's just fucking creepy. I've heard of a food orgasm, but never a bug orgasm. Well, oh, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Go on, and... <coughs> the fuck? Why? A little pill bug, aren't you a cutie? Little pill bug, little pill bug, I wish I was smaller so I could roll around. Roll you around like a ball. <laughs> oh, you're a pair, those little bugs. Don't those little bugs look happy? Allow me to share this happiness with you. And rupees! Nine bugs left until the ball can begin. Yeah, well. Creepy little thing. An ant! I found an ant for you. Yes, get on with it. Male ant. Little ant, little ant. I might mistake you for a grain and put you in my cereal. The fuck? Okay, that's horrible. You are a creepy kid. You eat ants. Why? I know bugs are filled with protein and they're very nutritious, but why would you want to eat one? That's the thing. Human beings could survive on a diet of ants. Uh, and on a diet of insects. The trouble is, you'd have to eat a fucking ton of them to survive. Yeah. And that's... Pretty much the entire and a termite mound to get one, one meal. Yeah, that's the problem with eating bugs. Okay, fair enough. If your desperate times call for desperate measures and all, and if that's what your society has grown up with, then fair enough. If you've successfully found a way to make bugs appetising and you eat them on a regular basis, fantastic! Yeah, you do that, but I'm just going to say you're going to need a lot of them to really satisfy a human's hunger. Um, one thing here, some people actually like cook bugs in chocolate to make them appetising. I'm sorry, that's not going to do it for me. Mm, chocolate covered ants. It's been done. It's been done. Yeah, get on with it. Right, now we're going to leave for a while and deposit all those rupees that were guy. And then come back. Oh, we haven't got enough. You we need, have? No, he needed 280 something. Oh. So, yeah, give it, give him this, uh, this mantis. Whatever it is. Yeah, it's a mantis. The mantis, the mantis. If I had s sickles like that, I could slice onions better. Fair enough. Yeah, thank you. See you later. You brought a bug? Uh, yeah, I can I can finish it off no problem. Cause I don't have my wallet, but I am got to go back and get some more bugs now. Okay. A phasmid. Little phasmid, little phasmid. I want to lie on your long antennae. I want to tie your long antennae into bows. Wouldn't that sort of hurt the bug? Yeah. So sort of seriously. She collects bugs. I'm pretty sure she wants to make some sort of um. I don't want to know what she wants to do. <laughs> do not want to know. We have robot porn. Now I've got bug porn. <laughs> Why? What's the um, word for when the, if we have beastiality, what's what's the insect word for that? Same thing, I think. <laughs> I don't know, I've never tried to add sex with an insect, so I couldn't really tell you what it was called. We, we had a, the bird plant is phytophilia. 
Trichophilia, yes, the uh, sexual attraction with bugs or something. No, with plants. Yeah, plants. Sorry. Yeah, I've been playing too much Batman uh, Aqua Sanima, I can say. I recently played the... Poison uh, Ivy, fuck's sake. I recently played the um, Howl's Revenge DLC. As far as DLCs goes, it's okay. The the best part of it is that playing as Robin, everything else is pretty much um, the same thing you've done before. Um, as far as price concerned, it isn't really worth six six pounds fifty. I'd put it down to like um, four pound fifty, because the DLC takes about four hours to complete, two hours if you speed run it. So. Yeah, yeah, just uh, wait, wait a few months till it comes down in price. It's not like DLC disappears forever. Uh, I haven't seen any Batman DLC go down in price before, so... And let's start that over here, let's look at some more bugs. Okay, I'm going to try and do do some of those ones now. We've only got five left, we might as well collect them all, mate. No, I, I don't need to sell what. Go on, you know you want to. No. We've got another 10 minutes to kill, so you might as well do something. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to get an ex, get an ex pause camera. Right, YouTube. The next two books I'm going to get, one's in a book, I mean, Hyrule Field, Lan Yaru. Lan Yaru. I can't, I can't see what he's reading, so I can't tell you how, how you pronounce it. Wait, well, is this area the bridge which is near, which, if you swim along it, you get to Lake Hylia. So, yeah, it's this area. The, right, according to this, the uh, male one is by a tree. That really helps because there's lots of trees in this place. So, that doesn't really help much. Let's try going near a tree. Let's have a look at the screenshot. Where are we? Oh. So it looks like the tree behind you. I think it's one of those over there, actually. No, it's behind you, though, because that, that's, that's the horizon. It's that tree in front of you. Okay. It, it looks like quite a distance away from the bridge. It could, it could be one of the old ones, though. We'll find out when we get there, won't we? Is it in that little lump of grass there? I have already got the male stag beetle. There it is! Oh, there we go. And the bunch of crows are I'm going to kill all these. Pause camera. Okay. Alright, apart. We've given up trying to find the uh, the beetle and we've actually just gone here to deposit all our rupees. So, glorious day we achieved our goal, Buddha. Today marks the day that other le that another legendary establishment is born. You should travel to Castle Town later. Thank you for your thank you for your cooperation, brother. Yeah, I'm not that good at Jamaican accent. So right. Castle Town. Not yet. Hmm. We need more money in order to buy the armor. So pause camera until I figure out which bug get next. Uh, okay. Right, you two, it took me for practically forever to find this little bastard, but I think I've got it. It's right here, above the um, cave with the extremely hard ice puzzles in the far on Lariru. Lario? That place. L A N A Y R U. Yeah. If you can work out how to pronounce that, keep it to yourself. It's really not that interesting. So, yeah, we got, the, we got that one. How many bugs do we have right now? All right, bugs. All right, we get a hundred for those, a hundred and fifty for those two. Yeah, I mean, uh, we'll get this one as well. Like that actually enough. What's that one? Um, gold boy beetle. Female. Well, is that the male or the female? Female. Uh, the female is 
Far west of Hyrule Field, the Faron Province. Oh, well, that's the one I tried to find earlier with the um, boomerang. I think, it might, I think it might be quite easy to find by the looks of it, but... Alright, we'll try it. Pause camera. Camera. Yep, we found it. From the opposite side of that... Of the place where we were looking at it originally, but it, it, here we are. This is the... Um, that's the pond right there. Pick the damn thing up. Okay, so I get, well, let's have a look at our book collection this at the moment. It's right here. Hang right, on, let's have a look at our book collection at the moment then. So we're, we're looking at 100, 250. Yeah. And we can't, yeah, that, that should give us... Just enough. Yeah, just about, yeah. So get your ass back to wherever the fuck she is. And the other two, for if anyone who gives a sh gives a damn, the male and female day flies are in the Gerudo Desert. And they're very difficult to find because you're looking for something that's gold on sand. I say it's best looking at night time, but that hardly helps when you're looking for that's gold on sand. And the sand looks green at night time. I'll, re I'll, read it, I'll read it out for you while he's getting there. The male day fly. The male day fly is, is in the south central portion of the Gerudo Desert, slightly northeast of the small gated alcove. This is easier to spot at night. And the female day fly, south of the enemy camp, and west of the west of the warp portal. You'll find trenches running through the sand. The female day fly is within one of these trenches. So if any of you actually care, that's where to find them. Uh, I guess it's castle. You can have your walkthrough back now. Yep. I guess there's castle, which is a one room... Whatever the hell it is. I know I have to read them once, because they're both same fit, male or female. Yeah. Little stag beetle, little stag beetle, your spiky pincers are so sharp they must feel so good. <laughs> eh? Oh great, she's a masochist as well. Get on with it. So yeah, we need another hundred. Which is actually going to put us one point over our wallet limit, but sod it. Two bugs left, yay. And now we can get that armour. Hopefully. Can we? Please say we can. Don't want to come here ever again. Yeah. No more bugs. Yeah, we can. But <laughs> that's not what I'm laughing at. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> should, should I tell him, viewers? I say, so care to share the joke? <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. The fuck. All right, fair enough. Behold! The ultimate shopping mart! Uh... What am I bearing witness to here? I knew you'd think it was Buddha! What the... the what the name of... The, the, it's, it's, it's like I got a spinning gramophone on his head! Yes. Uh, thank you. Yeah, you've sold out. We've sold out of magic armor. It looks the business, whatever it is. <laughs> what the hell? He moonwalks. <laughs> Leave. Leave quickly. Never enter this hellhole again. We will be. This way that's half price for every item in the game. It's the cheapest shop in the game. We will be going back here, Adam. Why? Whether you like it or not. 
I got the all is forgiven. I'll put it with your creepy bug fetish. Just why the hell with the dancing guy and the spinning gramophone and the madness and the why? We know you love it. No. Right. So I'm actually going to put this thing on so let's all look at it. Yeah, yeah. Right, behold! All our spending gives us this. It weighs a ton. <laughs> We've got no money to power it. Oh. So with no money, the whole thing just completely buggers up and powers down. Yeah. Go out and kill something, find a rupee. I have two rupees, but he completely depleted it in just a second. Oh, so it, it uses power over time? Yeah. Oh. Why do you want this thing then? Final boss made it easier. Yeah, let's get to the um, last dungeon of the game. Right. I mean, the second last dungeon of the game. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, we actually stopped recording and uh, started again. I think I think we're actually in about something like 17 minutes or something. Yeah, but with my edge skill, I can I can pick up, I can glue the two videos together. You would never notice. Yeah, you will. You'll notice the transition. I can do a really, really super ultra fine cut, and he might not notice. You'll notice. So, uh, I'll put it this way: if you've got to this part of the video and you haven't noticed one yet, then well, he's right. Anyway, let's levitate our mirror shards. Let's put them back together. Get out the um, I just got the Triforce in the middle. Get out the old um white bottle glue. The fuck is that? There we go. How's this thing? Some call our realm a world of shadows, but that makes it sound unpleasant. The, twi the twilight there holds a serene beauty. You have seen it yourself as the sun sets on this world. Bathed in that light, all people were pure and gentle. But things changed once that foul power perv pervaded the world. Who's doing that? No. Uh, what do these guys say? Spirit's voice! Alright, oh, This was all you're doing! I can't believe I instantly remember. It was all our doing. Oh, whatever. It was all our doing! We overestimated our abilities as sages and attempted to pull an end of Ganondorf's. E attempted to put an end to Ganondorf's evil magic. I hope you can find it in yourself to forgive our carelessness. No. You suck! You yep. fail, you're shite, and you... you're all fired. Oh, Twilight Princess. First time I've actually heard that name said in the game, I believe. Yep. So there we are, you two. Minna is the Twilight Princess, not Zelda. What, so you knew? Yeah, actually don't see a human form until the credits. I know. As a ruler who fled her people, I'm hardly qualified to forgive you. Oh, scratch that, you do see it now. Oh, we can see it right now. Is that his voice? <laughs> nope. See? That's why so, she's the way she is. Yeah, I know why she's the way she is. You told me it often enough. <laughs> I'm say, does she actually have an does she actually have another eye? Yeah. Put this huge stone helmet on. The hell. The dude! 
In the name of the hell, why do the big dad, the green grin and the evilness, why? Because she knows she can actually kill Zant now. What she does to him is actually really horrific. Oh, good. And he deserves it. In our world, we've long believed that the hero would appear as a divine beast. That's why when I found you, I thought I could I could use you, Link. I don't like the way. <laughs> I got another one. That, that I will eat your soul and tear out your brain. Your children will be mine. And I only cared about returning to my world. I didn't care what happened to the world of light. Not at all. Sorry, I passed one one. I don't believe you. I didn't realise the beef at all. So that's what I thought I was just there, but it is. But after witnessing the selfless lengths that Princess Zelda and you have gone, gone to your sacrifices, I now know in the bottom of my heart that I must save this world too. There is no other way. If we can just defeat Zant, the curse on me will dissolve and we may be able to re revive Zelda. Let's go, Link, for Zelda. For all of this world. Sounds like a pound in there. Let's do his thing. Let's jump into the giant swirly monolith thing. Oh, hell, giant pinnacle rock. What he said. <laughs> anyway, I think that's enough for the time being, because I think we're actually about 20 odd minutes now. Here we go. Are we gonna? Are we actually gonna stop? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna stop as soon as we get in there. I'd have left it at the cliffhanger myself, but nah. Well, great. We're now in the twilight realm. Right, YouTube. In the next episode, we shall explore one of the most depressing places on Earth, the Palace of Twilight. The best thing is, it's not actually on Earth, and they actually look quite nice. Hmm. Listen, Link. Can I ask you one last selfish favour? Go on then. Regardless of what my reasons may have been, I, want, I once abandoned this world. I left behind the Twilly, those who had followed me, who considered me their ruler. Yeah, so you're a bit of a bitch really, aren't you? Even now, as they remain here suffering, they believe that help will come for this world. But if they were to see that the only hope for them was a hideous little imp, does you think they'd feel let down? It's only for a little bit longer, but do you mind if I continue to hide as, as your shadow while in the hum while you're in human form? Any option to say no? I'm sorry. It's okay, Minda. I understand. Well, whatever. We'll get to we'll get to it some other time. See you guys next time. Bye.